Hi everyone. Today let's discuss on foreign currency revaluation process. So before starting the foreign currency revaluation, there are a few concepts that people need to understand uh, with regards to foreign currency revaluation. So let's see one of those. Uh, when you say foreign currency, there is unrealized profit or loss, and then there is realized profit or loss. So first. Let's understand this concept even before uh, starting the configuration. Okay, so when you say unrealized, when does the system pick it as unrealized? Um, let's say as an example, uh, my local currency is USD. Uh, I'm dealing with INR, which is my foreign currency. Uh, when does the system pick unrealized is, let's say uh, on... 6th July that's today so on 6th July let's say I book an invoice okay 6th July I book an invoice uh, I'll book the transaction in INR which is 1 lakh and let's say the the exchange rate is 0 0.014 so now my USD amount will be 1 lakh into 0 0.014 this is what uh, you know i'll be booking on 6 july as an invoice now uh, the foreign currency revaluation process is run at the month end let's say at the 31st july uh, which is my month end i have not yet made the payment but i will run my foreign currency revaluation process so this is when the system will pick unrealized so when you book an invoice and run the foreign currency process in the month end the system will pick as realized. So let's say uh, my foreign transaction amount would remain same, which is 1 lakh. Let's assume the exchange rate on 31st July is like 0 0.013. So then uh, what does the system does? It will calculate the INR into the exchange rate which is uh, 1300 then the difference between my invoice amount which is 1400 and uh, the $1,300 so this is my unrealized profit or loss so this is when the system will calculate unrealized that you book an invoice you run the foreign currency revaluation process at the month end even before making the payment that's when the unrealized will come into picture now when, do, when does the system pick realized? This is when the actual payment is made. Okay, uh, let's assume in this case on 2nd August, you know, you make a payment. Then the system will, con uh, will calculate the difference and this difference will be the actual realized one. So let's say, uh, you know, the exchange rate on 2nd August will be 0 0.016. You know, so at this stage, what system does? the foreign amount will remain same okay so the system will now calculate the exchange rate or uh, increase this so this is the amount payment that i am supposed to be making uh, with this uh, exchange rate but there, there is a difference between my invoice amount and my actual payment in the usd currency and this will be the actual realized profit or loss so what happens to the fco transaction this transaction which is run during the month end this gets reversed you know so reversed fcr so my foreign currency process that i have run before making the payment of the month end this transaction gets reversed and when I actually make a payment, the difference between the invoice and the payment will be your actual realized loss or profit. So, hope uh, this clarifies the concept of unrealized, unrealized. So, now let's do the setup in the system and see how the system will calculate unrealized, unrealized. So, when you log into the system now. The first step that we need to do for foreign currency revaluation process is to create main accounts uh, for the realized and unrealized uh, profit or loss. So go to general ledger, chat of accounts, accounts, main accounts. So create four accounts that is required for unrealized, unrealized. Now let me explain one more. 
when you say unrealized that is your asset or liability so when it is unrealized profit it is asset the main account type and when it is unrealized loss the main account type is liability similarly for the realized it's revenue or expense so when it is realized profit it's revenue when it is realized loss it's actual expense so when you're creating the main account type uh, in the main accounts you need to create one for asset one for liability one for revenue and one for expense so you you create four main accounts one is exchange rate profit which is unrealized unrealized profit is asset similarly when you have the exchange rate loss unrealized the unrealized loss is a liability then we have the exchange rate loss which is uh, the expense account right so the main account type is expense similarly we have exchange rate profit realized when i say realized profit it's our revenue so these are the four accounts that we create so the second step is where we link these main accounts in the ledger setup so go to general ledger then we have the ledger setup go to ledgers so assign the four main accounts that we created in the first step so edit then select the main accounts that we create realized gain which is profit exchange rate profit realized then we have the realized loss so that is exchange rate loss which is an expense so exchange rate loss realized then we have unrealized gain unrealized gain is an asset so exchange rate profit unrealized then we have unrealized loss which is a liability so go to exchange rate loss unrealized so this is the second step where we link the main account with the ledger so the third step is where we create the exchange rate so as a year we need the exchange rate for 6th july 31st july and 2nd august to execute our uh, example transactions so let's go to the system uh, general ledger then we have currencies uh, currency exchange rates so let's create an exchange rates between inr and usd for those three so uh, let's create those three exchange rates so we need one for uh, 6th july 6 July uh, and what is the exchange rate for 6 July 0 0.014 0 0.014 then we need another exchange rate for 31st July which is 0 0.013 so get date 31st July 0 0.013 then we need one more exchange rate for 2nd August which is 0 0.016 so 2nd August then the rate is 0 0.016 same so this is the three basic setup that we need to do create main accounts link that in the ledger setup and create the exchange rate now let's post the transaction and see how the system will calculate the realized and unrealized and what accounting entries are associated with that so first let's post one invoice on 6 July with this required details so go to accounts payable then invoice invoice journal so click new select the journal names go to lines so here we'll post the invoice so select the window for where the transaction needs to be posted so i have created one vendor for fcr so uh, select that vendor uh, give the invoice date so invoice date can be anything but uh, the exchange rate is calculated based on the posting date that we create here so here uh, again when we are booking the invoice we need to book the invoice in foreign currency therefore the system will use the exchange rate and post in the local currency in our books so in our example we had inr so i'll be selecting the same currency the uh, then the vendor i'll select one lakh as we discussed so i'll select an offset account an expense account so i'll be selecting rent 
okay so now once you click save uh, to see what is the exchange rate the system has paid you go to general and we see what is the exchange rate 0.014 so as we discussed on 6 july the exchange rate is 0.014 so now let's post the transaction so the invoice is posted now as we discussed here for us to get the unrealized we should run foreign currency revaluation at the month end and the payment should not have been made so here uh, let's assume we are on the month end that's 31st july so now let's run the foreign currency revaluation process before making the payment and see what accounting entries are posted for unrealized so go to system uh, to push uh, to run the foreign currency revaluation process go to modules accounts payable then we have periodic task select that foreign currency revaluation so this is a previously run transactions so let me run the transaction again for this july 31st so click on foreign currency revaluation now select the parameters that's required so i am giving the date as july 31st because that's the month end where i am posting so click ok so once we finish running the foreign currency revaluation process this is the revaluation process that's done now uh, click on the voucher so to see what is the transaction the system has posted so if you see here the system has posted asian rate profit unrealized debit vendor credit so if you see here as per our understanding the system should pick unrealized so the system has picked unrealized because the payment is not yet done and at the month end we are running the foreign currency revaluation process now there is a difference of hundred dollars the invoice booked on 6 july is 1400 as on today based on the exchange rate there's a difference of hundred and that's hundred is our profit unrealized profit and that is the under amount you are posted so this is how this is the accounting entry that is posted that is unrealized debit vendor credit sorry uh, unrealized profit credit vendor debit so what happened vendor vendor debit right then you have unrealized profit unrealized profit that is credit similarly if it is a loss then vendor will be credit unrealized loss will be debited so you can see the same transaction in the vendors as well so go to vendors all vendors so select the vendor click on transactions so here we see there is one transaction for the invoice and there is another transaction where for our foreign currency revaluation process where the vendor is debited right so as per the accounting entry vendor should be debit for unrealized profit and unrealized profit is credit so here the vendor is debited now to continue to see how the system picks the the realized one so what we have to do we now need to make a payment so let's make one payment for 2nd august and let's see how the uh, system will pick the realized and what is the accounting entry for that so go to system go to the vendor journal so accounts payable then the payments vendor payment journal so click new select the journal name go to lines so here we select the window for where the whom the payment needs to be made select the window change the currency to INR now when we are dealing with the foreign currency transactions generally we select the foreign currency and the system will pick the exchange rate and post the amount in USD so click on settle transactions so let's select the invoice for which we need to make a payment so if you see here the invoice amount is in INR and the amount is 1 lakh so mark click OK so once you select here we can see the amount is 1 lakh and they, okay if you see the exchange rate so we were supposed to make a payment on 2nd August 
So we need to select the date as 2nd August. August 2nd. Save. Now if you see, the amount is $1,600 as per offset. So let's select the offset account and make the payment. I'll select the cash. So let's post. Once the transaction is posted, just click voucher. See here, you see only the payment transaction. So to see the actual effect of the realized and unrealized, uh, go to vendor transactions, just refresh here. So here we see, we booked an invoice for one lakh. We made a payment for one lakh as per the foreign currency, which is INR. But if you scroll right and see, this is where the foreign currency's impact will be there. So initially, we booked an invoice for $1,400, whereas when we make the payment, because of the action rate, it is $1,600. There is, uh, as we discussed here, the foreign currency revaluation, when we did this process, the vendor was debited, unrealized profit is credited. So this transaction should get reversed here we, and then the, the actual realized profit or loss transaction will be posted. So if you see here, there is this $100 which is coming from your unrealized which is reversed. Then there is a loss of $200 between the payment and invoice and that amount is credited. So select this line, click on voucher to see the actual transactions that is posted, right? So if you see here, in this transaction, what happened? Our unrealized profit is reversed, whereas the unrealized profit here, what was the accounting entry? Unrealized profits was credit, vendor was debit, and that transaction is reversed. Vendor is credit by $100, and the unrealized profit is debit by $100. There is a difference amount here of $200, which is a loss. So if you see here, the realized, so system has actually picked the realized. So when we make a payment, that will be, that is when the realized will come into picture. So here, if you see, the exchange rate loss is realized by $200 and the vendor is credited by $200. So what is the accounting transaction for realized? is debit realized loss and credit is vendor right so this is the accounting transaction for realized if it's a realized profit then realized profit will be credit vendor will be debited so under these transactions can be seen here in the all vendors transactions if you see we can see the impact of realized and unrealized so uh, there could be uh, questions like uh, what if we book the invoice on 6th July and we make a payment before 31st July. If that is the scenario where you book an invoice and make a payment within the same month, then the unrealized will not even come into picture. You book the invoice on 6th July, uh, let's say on 24th July you make a payment, then when we are making a payment, the actual it will be the realized entry right because uh, we are actually making the payment and there is no further transaction for that invoice so in that case the actual realized profit or loss will be posted so the unrealized will not even come into the picture so this is how we do this setup for foreign currency devaluation process and this is how the system will pick realized and unrealized so I hope uh, the video will give some clarity on the foreign currency revaluation process, uh, how to do this setup in FNDO and how to run the foreign currency revaluation process. So that's it for the video. Thank you.